My name is Steve Taylor from OpenMake Software. Today we're going to talk about what is the difference between build automation and workflow automation. First we'll start with build automation. Build automation addresses the conversion of source code into binaries. It's how the compiler is calling the inputs and outputs of creating that binary from that source code. In the build automation process, the build automation can be part of a workflow automation. So it can be a subset of a workflow. Also, the build automation will take into consideration dependency analysis as well as uh, the decision making that's going to go into uh, build avoidance and parallelization. Also, the build automation will go ahead and, and remove redundant tasks that occur throughout the uh, build process. So one of the things that build automation does is it, it adds the power to accelerate the build process. Uh, when I talk about the build process again, that is the compiling of the code from the source into the binaries. There's no longer that need to go ahead and, and have a eight hour build. We're able to create frequent builds that are occurring correctly and removing those redundant uh, cycles through the build process. Also in build automation, you don't have the need to have a build expert around. You don't need that, that build expert to be sitting there on Friday night figuring out what's wrong with the build process. Build automation takes that information, stores it in a knowledge base that is later reused by multiple uh, teams instead of having a single expert. Also build automation, uh, enables you to deliver a 10 minute build. Gets those build times down from the eight hours into minutes through the build avoidance and dependency management. Next, the build automation also minimizes the, the concept of what you run into is bad builds. What happens with the build when it fails? Why is it failing? Most of the time what we see is it's not the source code changes that are affecting the build, but actually the hard coded scripts that are not adapting to the build process. So what you want to be able to do is make the builds run right the first time and not uh, be affected by uh, any hard-coded uh, scripting processes. There's no need for the build expert to come save today when you talk about build automation. The other part of the build automation is the tracking of your dependencies and how those fit into the audit process. Knowing what source code is being pushed into the compilers and what outputs are occurring, what libraries you're dependent upon, and which versions of all, all those different files that are used in the comp compilation link process are what is needed to track uh, your matching source to binaries. Also, it exposes what other pieces fit into the environment. You know, what other kinds of um, objects that you weren't expecting that are involved in your build process. Maybe it's an HTML file that needs to be brought into a WAR file. Or it could be a third party library that was downloaded from the internet could be uncovered as part of the build automation process. You've just watched part one of this Agile educational video series at agilejournal.com. You can view the rest of this program or other programs in the series by visiting the Media Center at www.agilejournal.com.